What's up Moto fans, Michael here at Moto Machines and today we're continuing our Triumph Tiger 900 build series with an unboxing and installation guide of the all new Scorpion exhaust. So this is the all new exhaust from Scorpion for the Tiger 900 and it is the Circuit Taper model. They have a couple of other different options of models on their website, uh, but this one is the Circuit. So basically what this is is a half system and what that means is you're going to get a muffler, you're just basically replacing the muffler actually, and you get a tiny link pipe to accommodate that muffler so it matches up and everything lines up perfectly and you don't need any other adaptions or adapters or anything like that. But but keeping a half system or keeping it as a half system rather you're not eliminating the catalytic converter on the motorcycle this is great for two reasons a you don't need a tune and b it's not going to be excessively or obnoxiously loud your neighbors aren't going to hate you they're just going to be like oh wow that bike sounds kind of nice but it's not brutally loud and that's great because the tiger 900 is after all a touring adv long distance bike and you don't want something that's going to be so incredibly loud that it's just going to drone and you're going to be annoyed by the exhaust eventually over time because that does happen my personal ktm super duke is incredibly loud and realistically i can't ride without earplugs and that's not great all the time so uh, but there's three options that this comes in there's black ceramic which is the one we opted for there's stainless and then there's titanium. Now the stainless is the cheapest of the bunch at 386 US dollars. And then the titanium and black ceramic are $56 more. So that'll bring it in right around $442. Now, as far as power and weight savings go, which I know you're concerned about, you're gonna gain a total of about 2.1, 2.7 ish horsepower. But the bigger, the big kicker is that you're gonna drop about five pounds of weight. Now that is quite a bit. And by doing that, A, you made your motorcycle faster and B, you're actually able to use the power that you gained because you dropped the weight. So that's great all around. Um, with all that being said, let's kind of open this puppy up. This is the first time we're seeing it, by the way. So got my handy dandy box cutter here. Undo that. Come over here. All right. So, bunch of paper, of course. All right, we got our mounting supplies. Now, everything is included, mount included mounting supplies. Why? You're gonna have your your hanger, all your hardware, and then anything else you're gonna need, as well as these instructions. Uh, be sure to hold on to these. All right, here we have the muffler itself. And then, is there anything else in here? There should be a. a hat. Here we go. This is the little link pipe that I was talking about that you're gonna need to uh, make sure everything lines up. All right, let's get all that out of the way. All right, that's that. Just toss all this off to the side. I'll pick that up later whenever I feel like it. Uh, so we are gonna take care in cutting this open because we don't want to destroy the brand new exhaust. This puppy is pretty. This thing looks good. Uh, we'll give you some uh, little B-roll of this too, but this thing is immaculate, if I might say. That black ceramics look gonna look great on our Tiger since we do have that black paint scheme. So I set this off to the side. There's that little link pipe. Welds look awesome on it, very high quality stuff. That's another great thing about Scorpion is although the exhausts are somewhat cheaper, they're not skimping on the quality. Everything of it is super high quality stuff. I mean, that's awesome. What more could you ask for? High quality on a budget. 
So as you can see, we got everything laid out on the table here. We'll throw up some B-roll for you too throughout the video so you can get an idea of what this thing looks like up close and personal. Um, some things to note though before we jump into the installation process. This is gonna seem obvious, but you want the bike to be cold. Uh, I can't tell you how hot an exhaust is once you've let the bike run for a while. Uh, my coworker Andrew nearly basically just took his fingerprints off when we were doing the DB test of the stock exhaust. That's the other thing about this video. We are going to do DB tests of the stock exhaust and then the Scorpion exhaust after. after. So you get an idea of what the difference is and you can decide if the exhaust is going to be too loud for you. Um, another thing is that this exhaust is going to be Euro 5 homologation compatible. It's going to be, uh, you're basically good to go. If you live in Europe and you want this exhaust, it's perfectly legal. So you don't have to worry about that there. And it also comes with a baffle. So if you're taking a longer road trip and you don't want the uh, louder part of the exhaust, you can tone it down with that baffle. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it with all that being said. Oh, actually one more thing. Uh, either so you can wear some gloves or you don't have to um, i'm personally going to wear some gloves when we put the new exhaust on and then i'm going to clean this before we touch it again too um, because if you start the bike with the exhaust with with the new exhaust on and then your oily fingerprints are all over it you risk damaging the finish because the heat is going to bake your oily fingerprints into the finish so clean it with some, you know, either Windex or some vinegar, something that's not too harsh or abrasive to just get all the oil and degrease it basically before you start the bike. Um, with all that being said though, let's uh, head on outside and get this sucker installed. So here we are outside. It's a little chilly, so we threw on the hoodie. Now the very first step to installing anything on your motorcycle is crack open a cold one. Here we are. All right, so now that that's out of the way, let's get this insulation underway. So realistically, there are two bolts that you need to remove for this uh, stock exhaust. And it's gonna be this exhaust hanger bolt here, but then under here, under this uh, heat shroud right here, there's a clamp and we're gonna remove that clamp. So I'm gonna come around here and Andrew, if you could grab that, please. So this is a 12 millimeter socket, I'm just gonna, crack this loose and then this bolt back here this lock nut is going to continue to spin as you loosen this so you need to put some pressure on there to get it from just constantly spinning so you can actually loosen it and then it's a little cold so my hands aren't working that great but we got that off this is the little lock nut that I was talking about set that off to the side now make sure you keep all the OEM hardware just put it somewhere safe uh, just in case you're gonna need it later remove that bolt set that off to the side now the next part we're gonna take this off it's gonna roll away that's fine all right next part is we're gonna take the clamp off uh, under the heat shield now this clamp is connected directly to the resonator now this is a resonator, not a catalytic converter. Um, basically its only purpose is to deaden sound. Um, but that's besides the point. So we're gonna remove this clamp right here. And this is a 10 millimeter bolt too. So I'm just gonna get this loose. And then now once this is loose, this exhaust is going to want to drop free. Need to get a little more. Do this. All right, and now she should just wiggle off. It might take some finagling, but as you can see, there she is in all her glory. Now this bad mama jamma is quite heavy. And after handling this and the circuit taper, the circuit muffler is so much lighter than this. So that five pound weight loss I was talking about is real. You're definitely gonna notice it. All right, because we're children and we have the muffler off now, we're gonna go ahead and do a uh, mufflerless start for you. 
Now, just keep in mind, this still, does still have the catalytic converter and the resonator right here. So it's still gonna be a little subdued, but um, it sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that, that sounds pretty gnarly, right? <laughs> All right, well, let's get this thing on. <laughs> so the first step, now I should mention actually, you don't need any of the OEM hardware for this install. So you can do whatever you want with it. I don't really care. But <laughs> we're gonna take this link pipe here. And then uh, this is the supplied clamp. Make sure it goes on this end. It's the, uh, like the, it's kind of got some cutouts and stuff. Put that on that end and then uh, make sure it's loose enough that you're not gonna like have to push it onto the resonator pipe. Um, but we're gonna get this installed now. So, you know, just slap that puppy on there and then get the ratchet to the right setting. Now you wanna make sure everything is loose enough that you still have room to adjust because there is some play here and you wanna make sure you leave everything loose enough that you can get it all aligned. But now that that's tight enough that that's not really gonna go anywhere, we're gonna put the muffler on now. So as you can see, we got the link pipe for the resonator on. Next, we're gonna install the muffler. Now the muffler comes with a exhaust hanger bracket. We pre-installed this. There's some spacers and then you can see how it's kind of like notched out. You can slide it back and forth. Uh, the reason to do this is because you're gonna wanna make sure you can get everything all aligned. So when you're installing this bracket on the muffler, just keep it loose enough that you can slide it back and forth. Uh, so basically all we're gonna do is come up under this side carrier here. That's another great thing about this exhaust is that it fits with side carriers. So no matter what you got, it's all gonna work together. And then just make sure to very carefully get it on there. And then we're gonna take the mounting bolts here which are these suckers here. Uh, you have the Allen head, and then there's a little, uh, like a crown almost. And then you're gonna come to the exhaust. And the reason you kept the hanger loose and everything is so you can properly align everything. So we're just gonna put that up there, push it through. And then if you look on the back side, you can see a little bit of the screw here hanging out. And then we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flat washer, place it on there, and then the supplied lock nut, and then just start to thread that puppy on. Once all that's on, you can go ahead and tighten everything down once it's all aligned. So we're gonna do that. And then the first thing we're gonna do, I think, once this is all good and everything, is we're gonna tighten down this clamp here. Now, it doesn't have to be crazy tight or anything. And then if you want, you can even rotate it slightly so it's out of the way and you don't have to look at it all the time. But again, just tighten it down. You know, nothing crazy. You can go through and nip everything up at the end. So I should mention, before you get everything tightened down, this uh, clamp here and this bolt here, these spring notches need to be aligned. Um, everything's tight, so it's not really gonna go anywhere, but these springs are just extra security and they're gonna keep the, the muffler from vibrating back and forth constantly. But uh, now that we've gotten the clamp tightened down, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the mounting bracket bolt. Now the Allen part of it is a six millimeter and then you're gonna need a 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter box end wrench. And basically all I'm gonna do is come down behind the grab rail and you need that to stop that from moving. And I got my extension here and we're just gonna tighten this thing down. Not excessively tight, you know, once it kinda, there's that physical stop, you can stop. And then uh, we're gonna pull all of this off and now we're gonna attach the springs. Once the springs are on though, we're gonna go back through and redo everything. So these are what the springs look like here. They got a nice embossed rubber scorpion cover on them. We're just gonna hook them in 
and then grab like a pick or a spring puller. If you don't have a spring puller, we do sell them. And then you're just gonna put this sucker on. There we go, that's one. And then you gotta spin that rubber cover over so you can see the scorpion lettering on there. And now there's one more on the bottom. Like I said, you gotta make sure these things stay aligned. And then because I want the lettering facing up, well, you can rotate it, but we're gonna do this. We'll take our little puller. It's a little cold, so my hands aren't working that great, but We'll get it eventually. There we go. All right, she is on. And now we're just gonna face that, face that. And then we're gonna go back through and just nip everything up one final time. So you need the six and the 14 here, and then just crank down on it a little bit. All right, the last couple bolts you're gonna need to tighten are these 13 millimeter ones here for the bracket. Uh, the reason you're doing these last is because you want everything cinched down and in place before you tighten this down. And then we'll just get these down. Again, not crazy tight. You have to remember they are going into the muffler. So just when they hit the physical stop, that's probably a good point to stop. And then that's it. So as you can see, the installation process is incredibly easy. It looks amazing. And now that this is all out of the way, we can give you that final sound test. So let's get into that. That was the installation of the Scorpion Circuit Taper half system in ceramic black on the Triumph Tiger 900. As you can see, the installation is incredibly simple. And not only do you shape some weight and gain some power, but you get a much better looking muffler than the OEM one. That's all we've got for you today. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all the latest Motor Machines madness. And uh, 
Click the card in the top right hand side of the screen if you're interested in more content like this. We got our entire Triumph Tiger 900 build series there. Uh, so I've got Ride Safe, and if you're still with us, enjoy some B-roll.